Leslie, it's one of the unfortunate realities that come up whenever we have temperatures as dangerous as they are right now. Children getting hurt critically, even dying after being left in hot cars. Things can heat up a lot quicker than you might expect in WUSA 9's Janice Park. is going to talk to us about that. We're already feeling the sweltering heat today, but imagine being a child in a hot car. Every year, 37 children die in hot cars. This year alone, 19 kids died. And already in Tennessee is the latest child, an 11-month-old infant to die. And it's so easy to forget about these kids who are sleeping in the back. So we wanted to see what the temperature was like in a car seat. So we got this temperature gauge. We're going to check it every 5, 10, and 15 minutes. According to our phone, it's been about five minutes. And as you can see, when we take our thermometer out, it says 101 already. And it's been about 10 minutes. Now let's check the thermometer here. You can see it says about 100 degrees. It's holding steady. Now a child's body heats about five times faster than an adult. It only takes a temperature of 107 for them to die. It's been about 15 minutes now. So let's check out our thermometer, how it's doing in the car here. Now it's been holding steady. You can see right here at 100 degrees. Now if you come this way, you can see that the window is cracked and they say if you park in the shade, some people think that that's going to help. That's a total myth. For more information like this to help keep your family and pets safe, just head to our website. That's WUSA9.com. In Burke, Virginia, Janet's Park, WUSA9.